Cardinals were the first team to score 35 points against the New York Giants this year and still lose a football game. O.J. Anderson's eight-yard touchdown run against Atlanta last week was his only carry of the day due to a sprained knee. And when O.J. is down, the Cardinals go up. Jim Hart, the native Texan, Pat Tilly, the leading receiver in the NFC. This one covered 50 yards, but not enough, as Atlanta won it in overtime. The other team to score 35 against New York and lose, the Dallas Cowboys, last week. Six of those points provided by a perfectly executed middle screen to fullback Ron Springs, who took it 58 yards for a touchdown. But it all came crashing down on quarterback Danny White as he threw his fifth interception of the day with only 19 seconds left to play in the game and the Cowboys in position for a tying field goal. A devastating loss for Dallas puts them two games behind the Philadelphia Eagles. One of pro football's closest fought rivalries, the St. Louis Cardinals and the Dallas Cowboys. Renewed once again on a chilled, rain-drenched afternoon at Texas Stadium. Yard line. Billy Joe Dupree in motion across the back. The other hand off to Tony Dorsett. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that slipping and sliding, though the field was covered by a tarp. Good. Ball is at the Dallas 34-yard line. And Dupree White in trouble behind the line and torn down at the 15-yard line. Lee Nelson, number 38, broke through there. Cardinals probably blitz more than any team in the NFL. Better than on the four-yard line. Cardinals peel back. They're playing return all the way. Good kick. And Roy Green at the 40-yard line of St. Louis back to the 45. It's not just shy of midfield. Half the football game against Atlanta. And they give him a test. And Anderson breaks into the clear at the 40. Aaron Mitchell misses him at the 10. Anderson is gone in the first play from scrimmage. Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> he exploded through that middle. And once he got through the middle, Aaron Mitchell, it was a... It, it showed all his qualities right up the middle now. Now watch the explosion right here. He sees the opening. There's daylight. He gets through that daylight before Dennis Thurman, number 32, can recover. Bob Bruning can't recover. Now he's got Aaron Mitchell's got an angle, but he shows some more speed there, and he's gone. Benny Barnes takes a last run at him, but the Cowboys last week, and they start fast. But keep in mind, they did the very same thing against Atlanta last week, rolling out to a 24-6 halftime lead, and then couldn't hang on. The offensive possession of the afternoon of the game. Just four minutes, just two and a half minutes old. Danny White hitting Tony Hill for the first down at the 39-yard line. Newhouse and Dorsett in the backfield. The handoff, Tony Dorsett trying to get outside. Does go to the 40, 45, 50, and out of bounds in St. Louis territory at the 47-yard line. The teams have played. From the shotgun. Good protection for White, and the pass is tipped. Incomplete. Hart, good protection. Blocked by Tupel Jones, and almost... Intercepted by Harvey Martin. Third down, seven. That's good for the first down at the 32-yard line. Pat Tilly gathers in the pass, the league receiver in the NFC. Well, Tutal and I are, are no strangers to each other. Uh, uh, we've gone to war probably a dozen times over the last six or seven years, and uh, I think Ed's playing better now than he's ever played. Uh, I, I think maybe in that year off uh, when he went boxing that Maybe he realized how much he really enjoyed the game of football, and uh, I'll be real honest. I think he's playing with a, an enthusiasm, with a hustle that uh, he never played with in the past, and I'm happy for him. I, I, he's that great a talent you hate to see live on. He's playing too good. That's Mel Gray, and that's another six points for the St. Louis Cardinals. Well, I'll tell you, St. Louis can hit him quick, and they can hit him fast, and they've got the two people that can do it, and Gray and Anderson, they've done it today. Safety and the cornerback. Watch this. Watch this look over to the left right here. When he looks over there, now he's got the safety reaction that way. And then he drills it back to the right and gives him enough time. Of course, Benny Barnes is off of him. But see, there's no safety to come back over here. That fake would have uh, probably would have uh, let Dem Dennis Sermon make a tackle back at midfield. But Demel Gray. No, I don't think so. I, I, I think if you look at our record, uh, three and seven, that uh, uh, we're playing for pride. And I think that's the easiest thing in the world to muster up is pride. And 
uh, we're not we're not going to go belly up and we're not going to roll over and die. This this club has never done that, regardless of, of whether we're up or whether we're down. And uh, I'm proud of my teammates for that fact. And they certainly haven't done it so far this afternoon. They lead 14 nothing. Danny White pass blocked, tipped in the air and knocked down by number 75, Curtis Greer. front four and into the secondary was stopped close to the 30-yard line. Very close to the yardage needed for the first down. Looks like he's a yard maybe too short. Well, Dorsett's exploding in there. He was exploding last week against New York. and Robert Newhouse for the first down and a lot more as he drags several tacklers out beyond the 40-yard line. Ken Stone, number 23, finally making the stop. First and 10. White under pressure, over the middle, Tony Hill. Hill caught the ball at the 45 and then pedaled back close to midfield. Finally wound up being down at the 48-yard line of St. Louis. And again, that's very close to the first down marker and is another Dallas first down. Prohibited. First and 10, Cowboys at the 47-yard line of St. Louis. Newhouse, down to the 40. Third down, four. the time. Jankowski pressuring him out of the pocket. Now he's going to run. Picks up the first down and goes out of bounds at the 34. Pulling here at Texas Stadium. White off the door set. Shoestring catch. Breaks the tackle. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 17 yard line. That may be Dorsett's finest run of the year, all things considered. And that ball was right around the shoestring. The screen pass uh, all the way. White's looking downfield, and then he drops it off. He's got he's got a guard. Uh, he's got Rafferty out in front of him. He's got Fitzgerald. Gets away. Breaks it downfield. Breaks a couple tackles there. And does an excellent job. Ken Stone missed it, and finally he's brought down by... Third down. Cowboys need nine for the first down. From the shotgun, St. Louis 19 over the middle. go back to the blitz. But here's the pass. It's out in front. Preston, Preston stretches out all the way. Look at that. Now that's nice. Excellent play. Right around against uh, Red, the Redskins last year, right before the half. The first time the Cowboys have been able to stop the Cardinals. Dorsett has been running hard across the 30-yard line after the 31. Bob Pollard, number 82, the Cardinal defensive end of the stop. Second down, four. From the 30. Again, Dorset. I say he is lucky he ducked yeah, right okay. there because Calvin Fabron nearly took his head off. Yeah. There's a run. Inside handoff to James Jones. Jones picks up the first down, goes out of bounds at the 37. St. Louis leading 14 to 7. Dallas with a first and 10 from their 36. Right back to throw it. Over the middle, wide open. Is Jay Saldi, the tight end, that's good for 10. And looks like another Dallas first down at the 48. 14 to 7. Ron Springs is in at the fullback position now. Danny White trying to set up that middle screen that Springs would score last week. Down to the 40, down to the 33 yard line. To uh, have something good, you got to keep using. Again, St. Louis has a rush coming here. Arnott's number 57 is coming also, so there's a four man rush with the, with the linebacker, three down lineman, and Spring catches it in the middle. You got Fitzgerald, you got uh, Rafferty, and you also have Scott blocking downfield. So as they go to tie up this football game, White back to throw it. Protection is good. Looks over the middle. He's got Tony Hill at the 25, and Hill close to another first down and may have it at the 22 yard line. Well, one FC. Neither team has had trouble moving the football. Dorsett. 20, 15, and down to the 12, the 11 yard line. 11 yards. And looks like another Dallas first down. Like uh, it was almost too hot to handle. He saw Pearson in back of him. 
Here's Dorsett down to the 10, running hard to the six-yard line. Small turn is, but the tight end's been their number one receiver down here. Springs hammered. Did not hang out of the football. Well, that's a great play by Carl Allen. I don't know if Springs would have had the first down anyway, but he popped him just as the ball got there. And goal attempt for Septien, who is 8 out of 13 this year. Kick is good. And the Cowboys get three points. First half here at Texas Stadium. The Cowboys have come back from 14 0 to 14 10. Anderson for 52. And Mel Gray on the long one. Wayne Morris. At least three passes in every game he's played. On second and six, they go with the straight handoff out to the 33-yard line. Anderson, take it up three more. Their 33-yard line. That's the Otis Brown in that backfield along with Anderson. And Anderson driving hard is very close to the first down at the 37-yard line. You can say that again. First and ten it is. Cardinals ball at their 37-yard line. Comes the blitz. Completed for short yardage. Second down, six. Cardinals from their 41 yard line. Anderson up to the 44. Two tall Jones got an arm in there. This is really their best ball control drive of the afternoon. Hart, good protection. First down. Philly at the 49 yard line of Dallas. They've been doing a good job protecting Hart here lately, but again, uh, this is the blitz. they got everybody coming. That's a triple blitz. The middle linebacker and the two outside linebackers have got the whole kitchen sink coming, except for the uh, secondary. That's a tough one to stop. If you're the quarterback, what do you look for when you see that coming? Well, hopefully you got a, an outlet receiver, a quick receiver at that. 16. I go back in their own end of the field at the 45-yard line of the 30-second clock, I believe, got Hart that time. Before it looked like another cowboy blitz did. Yeah, they liked it the first down, so they were going to try it again. Hart back to throw it. He goes long for Tilly, and Tilly has a touchdown. Well, that, that was a great throw by Jim Hart. He stepped up the pocket. He had a, uh, another partial blitz on. He had a extra clink scale with blitz him plus the four down lineman. Oh, a little slippery right there. And now now he steps up right here and lets it go with everything he's got. And it's an excellent pass. Watch Kelly. He won't have to budge an inch right there. He's on the run right by Aaron Mitchell, number 34. And it's another big play for St. Louis. Three big plays now for the St. Louis Cardinals. And they're, uh, they're part of the work right now. Daddy White comes out throwing. Out it comes to Ron Springs at the 30, 35. And Springs just short of the first down. Second down, two. Cowboys at their 41. White throwing on second and two. And he lets it go. Cody Hill. Touchdown. This year, but this time, Danny gets it up in the air. Plenty of, uh, plenty of distance. Cody Hill runs by Carl Allen. Excellent pass. Excellent catch. And it's a touchdown. So we've got some fireworks today, Frank. Nate, before the, uh, before the half, Dallas would like to keep the ball and keep it away from St. Louis if anything else. Cowboys have that third down shotgun offense in there. Preston Pearson and company. Danny White drills through Pearson at the 40. First down at the 43-yard line. But their 42-yard line. White looking downfield. Oh, the play at the 40-yard line. And St. Louis now. 38. To go in the half, Dallas trails by four. They have one timeout left. Sideline throw to Tony Hill. Let's see, did he get out of bounds? Yes. Out of bounds at the 29. They have a third and one. Watch the run by Dorsey there. White, good protection. Intercepted. Roy Green at the 15. Up to the 20. And dragged down at the 25-yard line. The first interception of the afternoon by either side. And snow tonight here in the Dallas area. Here's a look at the halftime stats. 
Well, they indicate, of course, the big uh, offensive plays. Dallas has had 43 to St. Louis is 26, but 20. But the uh, St. Louis has made the most of their plays. That's why they have the edge. And of course, you have the time of possession. But St. Louis has made the big plays. The ball game. To see if they can keep up the offensive momentum. Anderson out across the 30-yard line, down at the 33, but not before he gets six or seven. What'd you feel like in the mornings when you woke up? You saw it miserable like this when you played. Well, I wanted to go back to bed, but it, uh, you had no choice. You had to go out and play and forget about it. it rains on both sides. Sanderson to the backfield behind Jim Hart. Doug Marsh at the 40. The tight end is across the 50 and into Dallas territory. Down to the 43-yard line. Anderson behind Wayne Morris is blocked. Saw nothing there. We get a flag thrown in the defensive secondary. Holding. Offense. Cowboys crowd. Watch the Cowboys to hold them. Aaron Mitchell made sure he had both hands up in the air and away from the intended receiver, Dave Steep. Number 84. Mitchell didn't want to get flagged again on the pass interference, which well, that, that, uh, that prevented the trap. Swider, good kick. James Jones, 30, 35, 40. Oh, to the 48-yard line. Well, that's what you got to do on a punt. Go north and south, and someone, of course, hit him in there. We didn't see who it was, but six minutes left in the third period. Dallas trailing, 21-17. Danny White comes out throwing, hits Dupree over the middle at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. Good for eight, second and two. Johnny Darcet has now picked up 61 yards rushing. Here's Darcet. Down to the 40, down to the 35. Johnny Darcet. 26-yard line, 21-17. Cardinals lead. Dorsett, 25, 20. Trying to get loose, Whirly, over 22. By the Cardinals, 20-yard line, second and three. Robert Newhouse, first down. At the 15, time. First and 10, so there's the play action. Danny White looking over the middle. Drew Pearson. Touchdown. Boy, he gets his feet in bounds. An excellent throw. 24. But here we have the, the play action right there. He's looking over there to Newhouse. Comes back late to Drew Pearson. Drew keeps the feet in bounds. Good play. That looked like it had a feather on it. It did. moment for Drew Pearson. That was his 365th career catch, tying him with Bob Hayes for the Cowboys' all-time receiving record. Here's Septian taking off. Dallas leading for the first time of the game, 24-21. Willard Harrell from the 15 out to the 20. And finally, run out of bounds. Let's see where they mark it. Ten. St. Louis from its 42. Trevin for the first time. Otis Anderson across the 45. Out to the 47-yard line. Uh, and Pat Tilly both wide to the left up at the top of the screen. Doug Marsh, the tight end, the receiver, and Barnes knocks him out of bounds. Near the Dallas 45. That's enough for the first well, half. That's an excellent play by St. Louis because they great left the game in the first half with a sprained ankle. We haven't seen him. Air Steve making the grab. That's good for another 10, maybe 11 yards at a first down at the Dallas 35. Anderson is back in there. Anderson carries and Anderson takes it down to the 28. Cardinals have come back very nicely after taking that kickoff. But Hart's using his people very well. Second and two from the 28. Wayne Morris driving for the first down. He'll be close at the 25. He's not going to make it. Could be the final play of the quarter. First and ten. Stop to the right. Benny Barnes. Across the line of scrimmage for him. Hart looking to the far sideline to see who makes the catch at the 19-yard line. But Hart will throw or wants to and doesn't get to as Randy White stops him standing up at the 54. That's a, uh, that's a big trap. It not only stops a potential attempt out 
outside of 40 yards this year. It's long enough, but it is wide to the left. No go. To the 36-yard line, a pickup of eight on the play. It was significant, Frank. They they moved the ball well, but we're stymied. And Dallas hasn't been stopped uh, very very often on offense, and they're moving the ball right here. So this drive is critical to to St. Louis and the quarter. 17 carries, second and one. Newhouse picks up the first down to the 41-yard line. And on Thanksgiving against the Seattle Seahawks. Trying to get outside, doesn't make it this time. Uh, another uh, another injury to Eric Williams. The P7. On the delay, Anderson lost the ball and falls on it. For a loss of one on the play. Side off at the bottom of your screen. Hart got the pass away. Dean Wilson, number 45, got his hands on it. It was intended for Tilly. Scrimmage. They quickly peel back for the return. Jones, end over end kick, field at the 30, 35, 40, 45, Jones to the 49 yard line. He and Rod Phillips, number 36, really not hit nine yard line as a result. Drew Pearson in motion across the backfield. Garcet lost the ball. St. Louis recovered. 46 yard line. Hart looking to his right and back to his left and Tilly can't hold this one and we get a flag at the line of scrimmage. To the Cowboys, Jones is deep. Nice kick. Jones going to let this one pass at the 10. Rolls at the 5, takes a cardinal hop back to the 6 and dies there. Another flag. Behind the line of scrimmage, roughing the kicker. Jones is 
midfield. And just into St. Louis territory at the 49-yard line. Tackle made by Charles Baker, number 52. Cowboys leading by 10. They give it to Dorsett. Swift. As he tried to make his cut at the St. Louis 45-yard line, they pick up a four on the play. Second down, six. That gets third down, four for the Cowboys at the St. Louis 44-yard line. White looking for the first down. That's Drew Pearson. That's the record-setting catch as he goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line. So Drew Pearson has just set a Cowboy all-time receiving record, eclipsing Tom Hayes as the number one receiver in Dallas Cowboy history. That is his 366 catch, and he gets a standing ovation. No, he should. And he's also eclipsed the record of a uh, great, great receiver, Bob Hayes, through the years, really changed the defenses into from man-to-man the zone. Bob had the speed. No one could take him man-to-man. There's Drew accepting congratulations from his teammates. They didn't have that handshake when you played, did they? The high-five, they call it. No, they didn't. They had every other one, though. I like to see those handshakes when you're in a football game at the end of the game because that's a positive sign. This number 88 is something out of it. The last three weeks, Washington has really been a... Uh, Somewhat of a problem team, Frank. They've given up a lot of points. We see Tony Dorsett get stopped here. They've had injuries. They've, they've had some tough luck also. But you make your own luck a lot of times. And Newhouse on the fourth and nine. So Dallas will turn over the football at the 25-yard line with 45 seconds left to play and leading by 10. See, doesn't hold on. Hart. Charlie Waters kind of battered away from Philly and being successful. He's the only receiver now in football this year that's caught at least three passes in every game. He's kept that streak going. Sheen to nothing lead. And a touchdown run by Anderson and a long pass to Mel Gray. Hart with a sideline throw. And Thurman timing his move just perfectly, stepping in front of Philly to break it up. here for the Cardinals. 23 seconds. Hart. Worn down by two tall Jones, number 72. Not a way you want to finish off your afternoon. Uh, Deardorff's done a good job all day. Ed Jones, of course, beats him on this play. Goes to the outside, comes to the inside. And He's for the Cowboys. That's it from Dallas. For Roger Staubach, this is Frank Lieber saying so long from Texas Stadium. The NFL on CBS is a presentation of CBS Sports.